like a drunkard. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows like Chernobyl. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names like Penis Face. They never let poor Rudolph join any reindeer. What's up everyone, we're back with another tutorial in Cubase. This is just a quick tip about using Vary Audio to convert uh, audio to MIDI. It's uh, as easy as you can imagine and I'm gonna show you today. I gotta warn you though, it'll only work for monophonic sources. If you want a program that will do polyphony, you're looking at something like Melodyne and the top level Melodyne, so like the $700 one. But who knows, maybe it'll go on sale for Black Friday. I'm not sure. I'm happy with uh, monof monophony. Is that a word? Monophony? With uh, just one note at a time. Uh, for polyphony, I'll just figure it out with my MIDI controller or something. But let's jump into Cubase and check this out. Okay, here's what I recorded at the top of the video. Uh, we're going to do the guitar first because it's easy enough. And I'll just go to this Rhodes right here. So uh, let's see. We'll just go into the sample of the guitar. It's this right here. And this will only work for Cubase Pro. Uh, we'll open up our Vary Audio tab right here and hit Edit Vary Audio. And this could not be any simpler. Actually, what I'll do is I'll select everything and I'll quantize all the pitches. It'll just take away some of my... Uh, straighten the curves, that's fine. And so this will sort of make it more cut and dry. What we'll do is we'll come down to this Functions button right here on the left-hand side and extract MIDI. And we have a few options, notes and static pitch bend, just notes, no pitch bend, notes and continuous pitch bend. Um, notes and expression, note expression pitch bend curve, or BST3 tuning curve. Um, and then of course, it uh, can do velocity dynamic or fixed, uh, depending on what you give it. But uh, then you want the destination. So uh, you can have the track selected. You can put it on a new MIDI track or just put it to the clipboard. We'll just send it to the clipboard. Okay. And I'll go come down here to my Fender Rhodes and I'll just hit Control V. And if we mute the guitar and the vocals, we can hear. He knows like a drunkard. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows like Chernobyl. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names like Penis Face. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. So yeah, as you can see, the tracking on this is actually pretty flawless. Uh, but if we tried to do it with my vocals, which were very raspy and atonal, you can see my vocals are all over the place. We can try to do the same thing. Um, we're, you're going to get much mixed, much more mixed results. So we can function extract MIDI. Uh, to the clipboard. Let's see, what do I have down here? I have, I think, a cello loaded. So if we listen to just the cello, it's going to be a mixed result. And uh, that's just owing to my vocal performance. So it didn't, uh, Vary Audio was just having a tough time figuring this out. But if you're doing something that's uh, more clean, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose, um, it should pick it up a little bit better than if you sing it raspy like I sang it. I just felt like that was appropriate for my additional ad libs. So uh, that's important to keep in mind that, you know, if you sing a raspy voice, sometimes Vary Audio has a hard time tracking it. It's also important to keep in mind that I can only do single note melodies. I can't do more than one note at a time. And it's also important to keep in mind as we get into this Christmas season that Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer is a story of someone that's different and he's made fun of for it. And Santa knew about it and he didn't give a shit. He just let it go on. And he let these people bully Rudolph until the day that he needed Rudolph. Then all of a sudden Rudolph was a hero. 
But Santa knew the whole time. Santa knew that the other reindeer were doing this, and he didn't do anything about it. So I guess the moral of that story is, if you're going to be different, you better be useful. So that's all for me today. That's just a quick tip in Cubase about using Vary Audio to export audio into MIDI tracks. I hope you found it enjoyable and useful. And if you have, feel free to like or subscribe. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.